Hi everybody, Gary Williams here for ToolBarn.com's Barn Banner, and today we're going to talk about mechanics tools. Now, I brought a couple from my garage to show you. These things have got to be, I don't know, 50 years old, something like that. They belong to my dad, and as you can see, they're just a little bit bent out of shape. This one used to be straight, and so did the uh, pines on this speed wrench. Anyway, these got bent trying to break free rusty lug nuts on an old Ford. The same process, same project. We're going to show you some stuff today that will take the muscle power out of uh, trying to do that. Tools that you'll be glad you got, and uh, they're from Milwaukee, and we've got a few of them to show you, so stay with us. Dustin from Milwaukee is here to talk about, oh gosh, all kinds of different things. I know you've got some different impacts here, and then any one of them would be a, a great replacement for this. Absolutely. Uh, why don't you go ahead and talk about them? Yeah, so Milwaukee has a full line of impact solutions, uh, everything from the compact you see here all the way up to your high torque. And then we actually just released this guy. Uh, this is our new mid-torque impact, which, okay. you know, by the, by the name, it sits right between the compact and the high. Right. Um, the idea of the mid-torque is to give you a lot more power than you'll get out of the compact, but without uh, giving you a whole lot more weight, which the high torque tends to do. Sure. Um, so 450 foot-pounds of fastening torque out of this guy with 600 of breakaway. Uh, it's going to take care of a lot of jobs. Yeah, so uh, now, <clears throat> I know it'll take care of breaking lug nuts sure. off of a Ford tire, but oh, yeah. but it'll do a whole lot of other things. What's, what Absolutely. are the typical uses for something like that? Um, typically, you know, breaking away those stuck bolts, uh, right. lug nuts, as you said, you know, those are going to be real popular for your uh, your automotive techs and okay. uh, your you know, maintenance crews. Okay, so you've got uh, basically three categories of these things, and mm -hmm. uh, you've got a couple of different ratchets, I see, that you brought here. Correct, yeah. Tell so, us about these. So ratchets have been popular for ages, sure. um, but typically they've always been air powered. So right. what we were able to do is put our M-tool battery on these guys. Uh, give you that nice slim form factor that you would see out of an air ratchet, but without the hose. And you know, it's a great, that's a that's a great addition to have these things as, as completely cordless or, or whatever, so that you can really get into those places you need to get into. Right. One of the big things about um, working on cars or trucks is, you know, you've got to spread an air hose over the uh, over the vehicle, and that can lead to scratches, which nobody wants. Yeah, sure. So. And it's and it's and it can be tough to get into those tight spaces. Uh, Absolutely. Plenty of uh, scraped knuckles and uh, you know scratches oh, yeah, and so forth. We've all been there. there. Yeah. Great. Okay. Great. So what we have here are the uh, two polishers that Milwaukee offers. Uh, okay. We've got one that's M12 powered and one that's M18 powered. Okay. Um, basically, they're for two very different a different applications. The 18 volt one that you see here is designed for your larger surface areas, um, so you know your hoods, your roofs, right. um, and then the M12 version is designed for those tighter areas. You know some of those special creases you'll see on uh, sure. some of the sports cars or. Um, you know, working on things like your, your light covers, right. um, so, so you can kind of get the cloudiness out of those. Yeah, so if you really want to do a good job, you'd, you'd take both of these to the to the vehicle and, Absolutely. and use them in appropriately, uh, appropriate yep. spots. Okay, you got it. well, crank this thing up. Let's just see how it runs. So this guy runs pretty good, and we do have a speed selector here. Okay, so you can bump that all the way up to 2,000 RPM. Wow. So you'll get uh, quite a bit of speed out of it. Uh, you can drop it all the way as low as 1800, or, yeah. sorry, as 800. So. Good. Okay, cool. We have more. You know, one nice thing is the, uh, the, the battery conversion of all these tools, you know, the cordless mm -hmm. application. So you've got a couple of grease guns, and, and normally these were not necessarily powered tools, correct? Right. Okay. A lot of times back in the day, you'll see it, you know, hand pumps, which or time consuming, you know, give you cramps in your hand. Yeah. So being able to put a battery on these guys saves a lot of time and a lot of that repetitive stress injury as well. What, so what's the difference between these two? The 18 volt version will have a little bit more power and then we also do have a couple extra features on this guy such as a uh, two speed selector. So you can do either high flow or high pressure. Okay. Um, and then you've also got a uh, dial selector here. So if you have a okay. machine that has to take specific numbers of pumps of grease, you can set the right. dial, which will automatically shut that off at that yeah. uh, at that interval. Okay, well handy to have. So you've got some uh, great lighting options here for people? We do, we do. So this is uh, just a sample of the lighting that Milwaukee offers, but these ones are probably our most useful at the moment for your um, your automotive and your maintenance techs. Okay. Um, so the first two we have here, uh, the 18 and the 12 volt stick light, 
uh, these are the first ones that we came out with that mm -hmm. were really geared for those maintenance guys. All right. Um, and the cool little trick with these is this hook here. Mm. So um, obviously you can hang it as is, or you can pop this guy off, pull it to the back, and then you can hang this from oh, above sure, so sure. you get your lighting shining down on right, it. Right, right. Um, so you see that in both the 18 and the 12 volt versions. Yeah. Uh, the 12 volt does have this little accessory magnet that you can get as well, so okay. you can actually stick it to a metal. You know, th th that seems like a small feature, but that's really handy to be Extremely able to do handy. that when you're working in your garage or Absolutely. anywhere. So. Yep. Very nice. And then for situations where you need a little bit more uh, of kind of like an area light, lighting right. up a, a larger yeah. uh, area that you're working on, uh, we do have the new M12 um, floodlight. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this one will put out quite a bit more light than the other two we have on the table. Okay. Uh, you're looking at about a thousand lumens of output. Um, and then it also does have a couple neat features, uh, including magnets on the bottom and this hook that you can pull out um, and oh, you can yeah. attach yeah. to sure. uh, yeah, certain things that right. Right. will help you hold that on. Well, let's, let's, let's just crank them up a little bit. Don't point them at the camera, but I think you can get an idea of just uh, the power of these things have and the Absolutely. magnitude of the lighting. I think with this one, you could probably get a nice tan, couldn't you? Yeah, we're getting close. Okay, cool. So you've got a lot of great tools at Milwaukee. Usually you associate Milwaukee with the other trail, uh, trays, the electrical or carpenter Correct. or those kinds of things, you know, but you've got a good selection of tools for the mechanic trades as well. We do. And uh, you know, these lights will help you find your way to toolbarn.com. And we've got all those tools there, so check it out.